and it's inevitable that popular playwrights have some works that are termed their minor plays. But those so-called minor plays can still provide some pretty good theater. And entertainer critic Robert Osborne is here with an example, Robert. Yes, pretty good indeed, Liz. The late Tennessee Williams didn't earn his mantle as one of the three greatest American playwrights without reason. Many reasons, in fact, including The Glass Menagerie, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, Sweet Bird of Youth, Rose Tattoo, Summer in Smoke, Streetcar Named Desire. Quite a list. Great plays with great roles for actors. But even the best playwright should be allowed a clinker or two. Tennessee Williams had his off nights, God knows. But the remarkable thing about Williams is that even his worst plays provide monumental roles for actors. And a case in point is a production of Lou Carre at the Beverly Hills Playhouse. May I inquire what this bed is about? View Carre all takes place in a dilapidated, broken-down rooming house in the French Quarter of New Orleans in the 1930s. It's a house filled with every kind of tortured personality and off-kilter emotion Tennessee Williams has ever written about in the past. So much so that View Carre often resembles a virtual that's entertainment of the playwright's past in the theater. Maybe even unintentionally a Saturday Night Live sketch on Williams. The play is one of the last written by him. It made a brief appearance on Broadway in 1977, but has never had a successful mounting, not until the current one at the Beverly Hills Playhouse, where it's now completing its fifth month. And if it is a success here, it's almost exclusively due to the superb direction by Clive Ventura and its sensational playing by a cast of pros. For example, there's Ray Strickland as a tubercular painter, a painter who's become a quick sketch artist and has his homosexual sights set on Robert Whiteman. Whiteman is a new boarder in the rooming house and a very unworldly writer who obviously has ties to the real Tennessee Williams as a young man. Both give touching, heartbreaking performances. I have a fever you'd be lucky to catch. A fever to hold and be held. Damn right, this pain, now get out of here! Michael Savage also shows great power and great potential as a rough-edged loser who lives with McKee Anderson in the flea bag. Savage, I think, would be a cinch for a TV series or a big film feature. And Karen Condanzian is the most glowing example of a Tennessee Williams lady. She's the landlady who oversees the whole nightmarish world of Vue Carre. But then, virtually all the performances are first-rate, and that's why this production glows and shines.